What's up, everybody? It is Crypto Muscle back to you once again. That's right. I wanted to give you an update on tokens and coin platforms. And uh, yeah, I want to I want to share what's been going on in all these platforms here. So we got arbitraging slash apex as the only announcement they've had as of late is that november 30th la token which is liquid assets token is supposed to convert over to apex because they're still at arb and they said they've been a little bit slow on coin exchange but they're supposed to make that conversion also and so going into my own personal account here i haven't touched anything since the whole conversion and rollback and all that stuff nothing's changed i haven't touched anything as you can see it's still the same almost forty-five thousand of what was formerly the abot to AUSD. this is what i had sitting in my wallet originally well i had a thousand but of ARBs, and then it, I converted a little bit over, 122 over into here, and kind of left it at that ever since. Uh, they did a rollback, all that other stuff, rollback people's accounts, because there's a lot of people crying, oh, I didn't get a this, I didn't get a that, whatever. So, uh, whatever happened, happened, they rolled it back, things got fixed, and we're just kind of at status quo right now. People say this is a slow tire deflation, you know, you just let the air out of the tire and it's going to a slow death. You know, you poke a hole in the boat and water is just kind of slowly going in and it's going to eventually sink the ship. So, uh, that is that with arbitraging slash apex. Um, funny thing is... When you go into the exchange, you, know, you have all this activity going on. You have a bunch of people with uh, sell orders here. And uh, going on their um, price bot here. Let's see. Current price is still the same at two cents. The 24 hour volume within the past couple of weeks, I was looking and you know, I stay on top of it. It's been hovering between three to 10 ETH, believe it or not. Uh, on the 24 hour volume, I've seen it as high as 10 ETH. And then as it gone down, then it would just kind of hover around three ETH. Like they're trying to. Whoever's putting it in here has been kind of maintaining it around here. The 24-hour apex trading still this, you know, roughly 100 million trades. So the price is always going to be kind of going up and down. That's down. When you check out the last one, that was up. So it's always like going up and down because of all the up and down trading activity. Uh, 2.1 million in the apex vault, which... Uh, let me take a look at what I have here. So I have 535 in my vault. I've had it there since it was ARB, and they just kind of converted that over. So uh, boost vaults, majority is in the boost one vault, which is at what, 19, uh, 19 million tokens there. And then the next highest one I notice is this third vault and then you got the insurance vault so that's what's been going on with that one so status quo dying a slow death unless something happens we'll see though because the only thing that's really kind of showing something is they're still kind of converting the exchanges over so it, it might be something you just never know 
So we'll see. We'll keep an eye on that one. Moonberg is Moonberg. It's I don't I don't get why all the YouTubers are jumping on this thing. The ones that have come from token platforms have jumped on this thing. You know, you got the you know the clovers, the Tiwis, the uh, Maddie Cryptos, the uh, you know of all these people in here, the uh, you name it. I mean, they're all in this thing that you know they were all in the other platforms. You know, like the Nova Chains and and uh, you know arbitraging and BitConnects and all this stuff back then. It's all the same ones that are going into this one now. And um, yeah, I just don't I don't get it. You know, it's just. Like I said, uh, if you guys know my story, I've talked about it in all, you know, early videos I have about how there's, you really don't get anything out of this thing, you know, and, and, uh, yeah, I mean, oh yeah, another, you know, name in here, Bits Away, you know, all this stuff, but yeah, so you have a platform where you're only going to get a percentage of the daily profit, so you know 30 day bot 40 percent of the daily profit you're not even get half of the daily profit so if you're going to make one percent you're only going to get less than half of that one percent that's just an example so you know if they average about 0 0.7 0 0.8 a day you're only going to get 40 percent of that you're not even going to get half of that so so that's one thing and they say that in order to make profit you know, you got to be in a, you know, a bot, moon bot. So if you're in a moon bot, they say you could get out anytime you want, but if you get out, you lose your profit. So essentially you're locked in, but the whole concept of being locked in was complain, 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 arbitraging one of the first came through and said, you don't have to be locked in. And now Moonbird's doing it, you know, so to speak. And it's like great again. So I, I don't get that. If you want to use their moon signals program, you know, you got to pay, you know, 700 moon coins for that a year. That's, that's, that's to me, it's pretty steep, $700. So if you're going to buy TUSD, you know, if you're going to buy this value here, $1.20 per moon coin, or you're going to buy what's going on in their exchange right now, $1.60 per moon coin in the exchange right now, and you're talking about 700 moon coins for that, that's a pretty steep price to get signals. Um, so good luck with that, paying for that, anybody out there. Uh, I, I don't get why anybody would want to pay that. It's just a steep price. Um, you know, you have a lot of people that's, you know, the, the YouTubers that are in here now saying that they're traders now all of a sudden. You know, I, I just, you just got to be careful who you trust in this thing. You know, and this is a, here's an interesting twist. Whether you want to believe him or not, you know, Crypto Batman talks about the people behind Moonberg or the people behind Nova Chain. Never saw people behind Nova Chain. So, you know, that's why you're able to move on to Moonberg. And, yeah, they show their faces on Moonberg. But, you know, some of the stuff he pointed out is interesting. You know, he talks about how, you know, how can you open a platform with no ICO and just you know, start right away with money. You have sell walls. You have all this established money in this platform, you know, already in place. And the biggest thing is without an ICO, you know, if you're, especially if you're a new platform. So, you know, you pointed out some interesting stuff, you know, stuff to make you think, you know. So uh, just throwing that out there, whether you want to believe that or not, the conspiracy, if you want to call it that of Moonberg with Nova Chain people that's behind it. You know, who knows? But to me, Moonberg is still a shit platform. Just like any other token ones that are out there right now. But I'm not going to talk about shit about arbitraging because I'm still in it. But Moonberg is shit because I'm out of it. And I don't get the hype. I don't get why people are in it. But, um, yeah, good luck with that one, you know. It, you know, if you're, you got to talk about having positive videos because and they're paying you with a moon bot and they're going to hold your moon bot hostage and take it away if you don't produce positive videos so yeah so good luck with that you know people like the bits of ways out there you know, they need that kind of thing as uh 
else, how else are you going to, you know, produce the hype of Moonberg and all the positive about it? Well, here you go. Uh, I got bad news about it right here. And I'm telling you, it's, it's, it's not that great. It's sustainable only because they're only paying very low daily profits. So, yeah. Uh, moving on here. Let's see. Oh, uh, jumping into Dropple. Dropple is just there. Nothing to really report. they just been there. Um, I showed you a few days ago. I got 100,000 plus drops in this thing. And then it's only worth like 20-something bucks right now. I only paid 100 during ICO, but still, it's just... The point of it is that uh, Dropple is there. <laughs> That's it. No news about it dying or even getting better, but it's just there. And people are still doing things on it. The Telegram is still very active. Um... You know, they talk about the, the trading and all the stuff that's going on. So, um, yeah. Uh, here's another one I'm going to throw in. Crystal Token. They went away in June and gave a warning to sell out. You could stay in or sell out. And so uh, I sold out so I could get out whatever I could because I had some stuff in Crystal Token before. And I sold out and then... After they made it sound like they went away, all of a sudden they have a new owner that says they want to keep this project going. They're going to make some changes. And since that time, they keep saying there's going to be an update and nothing really even going on. Things are progressing and nothing's really going on. So um, that's it on that one. I'm not, I'm definitely not going to get back into this one, but. Um, yeah, I'm just letting you, keeping you aware of the crypto token that's still out there. You know, if you've forgotten about it. And here's a funny one, Evo AI. This thing has been an ICO for a year plus. And uh, the only time I really thought about getting in this thing was last, late last year. When it was still fairly new ICO. And um, I was on the fence about it, and then I decided I will, I'm not going to do it. And, uh, yeah, and still an ICO to this day, you know. And a, few, a couple months ago, they posted about this update that's coming. They have a big update that's coming. So the big update came, and they changed the UI on their uh, main page. And... They had the switch there to put a day and night mode, and that was pretty much the big update that, to their disappointment. They thought there's going to be a launch. You know, they thought there's going to be something big going on, you know, for this uh, community, <laughs> and that was that. You know, so I thought it was pretty funny, and people are still asking, hey, when's this thing coming? When's this thing coming? And anytime people question it or talk shit about it, uh, you know, they get kicked out of the chat room here on that thing here. Um, and it's rough for the admins in here right now because the Nick, the CEO, hasn't really talked about anything. And people are just asking, hey, what's going on with this thing? So, yeah. Good luck with this shit token as well. So, you got shit token there. You got... Uh, where's the other one here? Shit token here, Moonbird community. Crystal token, shit token again. Uh, Moonbird already said that. Dropple is on the verge of that, but I won't say because I'm in it still. I'm trying to just wait for the right time to get out. And if arbitrage ever somehow resuscitates itself and come back alive for the umpteenth time, then, hey, there you go. I can get out of this thing too, so, uh. Uh, another shiz uh, token as well. But I, won't, I can't say it, though, because I'm in it. Um, so, yeah. Now, real stuff that I'm in. BTC, NBC app, BTC out. ETH platforms, links down below. This is what I'm talking about. This is the stuff that makes money right now. You know, so, yeah, hit the comment. You know, drop a comment. Tell me what you think about all this. Hit the like button. And, uh, of course, subscribe to my channel. More to come in the next one.